Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another one of my videos. So in today's video, I'm going to be trying out a bunch of new drugstore makeup. I did do a video like this before and I still have some products that I haven't used. So I wanted to use them today and I'm going to be using the new On The Mango Palette by ColourPop. Look how cute this is. It's already on their website, but I did get mine from Ulta. And then I showed you guys this in a previous haul video and I'm going to use it today finally. And then I also got some other products from Ulta's website. And then I also got the new elf camo foundation powder so i'm gonna be trying this one out too but because i don't know how that one's gonna work out i'm gonna do my eyes first and then i'll do the face and we'll see how that turns out i did already put the concealer it's the makeup forever matte velvet skin so that's all i have i didn't set it though i think i'm just gonna leave it like that without setting it so yeah let's try out this new makeup today is a very very cold day outside it was supposed to be a little uglier but it was pretty luckily it's not dark or you know too bad or anything so it's like it's perfect for me to film so anyways i'm gonna zoom into the eyes and then we'll do the eyes first and then the face i did my eyebrows but i didn't fill them in this time i do have them microbladed so you can see you know like it's filled in a little bit but i didn't put any extra eyebrow product so anyways this is the palette right here it's in a clear packaging and like I said, this one is called On The Mango. It only has four colors, so I don't have that much to choose from. But uh, I think I'm going to use all of them. Okay, so since I'm starting off without setting the concealer, I'm going to pack on this dark orange color right here. So let me just pack this on here. Ooh, it looks like a neon orange. Or maybe not neon, but still like a pretty bright orange. And they came out with, I think, three other colors or color stories like this, just different. I think there's a yellow or green or pink. I'm gonna just blend this out. I didn't add any color, but I am about to. And I'm gonna take this orange one right here to help me blend it out a little bit more. Hopefully it shows up. And I was actually waiting on an order. I was going to see if it was going to get here today. Um, but I checked this morning and I knew that it wasn't. I was going to use the Milk Makeup Liquid Bronzer and also the new Say Beauty Powder. It's a translucent powder, like a air. It's called air something powder. But I could tell like from just the previous shipment stuff, like updates that it had, that it wasn't going to get here today because of weather so i'm like it's okay i still have some other products to use as bronzer and powder and stuff so you'll be seeing those in a future video okay so this is blending out pretty good you can kind of see the color just fading upwards it looks really pretty though like it helps it transition better to my eyebrow and like i said i didn't set my concealer this time and it's still blending out really good so many new products have come out well not so many but the Kat Von D concealer came out I want to probably try that one too let me know if you are interested in that one wow that's looking super bright it looks pretty though they're just blending out really good look at the smoothness in the eyeshadows I don't see any little lines or anything weird even though like i said i didn't set it i want to try probably a cut crease today i haven't done one in a long time and i was looking at my old videos I used to do them all the time and just use different colors and all that so i'm just gonna take a little bit of concealer the the makeup forever one and i'm just gonna do like a half cut crease this is a very very thick full coverage concealer so i don't need a lot and I just want this to look clean right here. So I'm going to go in with the light, light shimmer shade. And then just kind of blend this out a little bit. Make it a little messy out here. So now I'm going to take the light shimmer shade. I don't want to look up too much, but oh, that's loud. I like to spray it and then pick some more up. And I'm going to apply this one on the inner corner. Well, everywhere that I put the concealer actually but that's not showing up too much it doesn't look that shimmery and i did spray it so it's very very light yeah can you see that i mean it's shimmery it's pretty but it's not showing up that much it's not like a super wet looking type of shimmer you know when i do this it feels kind of hard like the formula let me see how it looks like this probably about the same i don't know i don't see 
much difference in the way that it shimmers, you know? Then I'm gonna take another like packing on brush and apply the bright orange again right here in the center. I'm gonna blend it into the shimmer. And then I'm gonna pack on the dark color on the outer corner. So it's a very warm brown. But of course, since I already have orange underneath it, it makes it look a little more orangey. And then I'm gonna take that blending brush I was using to just blend out the edge. So the shades are blending really easily together, so no issue with that. I'm gonna take a little bit more of this bright orange and stick it back in the middle. And you know what I haven't done in a long time? Put eyeliner, like a wing. So I think I'm gonna do that today. I think it'll look good with this orange i'm just gonna take off this fallout because i did get a lot i'm gonna use the nyx matte liquid liner and this one has always been my favorite it has been my favorite one for years and i really love how black it is so i'm not gonna talk i'm just gonna do my wing and then i'll i'll see how it looks okay, so that's not bad i thought it was gonna be worse since like i said i haven't done it in a while you see how pretty and black and just matte it looks i love this eyeliner because it doesn't give you that shiny effect you know so now i'm gonna clean up the bottom part just to take off some eyeshadow here okay so the eyelashes are done except for mascara i almost forgot about that because i'll forget and then i won't put any on so let me just do that on the top only but the eyes look pretty good the eyeshadows worked out really really good i say pretty good because my cut crease the center like the inner part is not as glowy as i wanted it to be but that's just the eyeshadow it's not like a super shimmery eyeshadow and even whenever you swatch it which i hadn't even swatched them yet so i didn't know how it was gonna work out um even when you swatch it it's like a little hard formula type of type of eyeshadow so yeah it's just not super super shimmery but this one's really bright really pretty this one too and then this one's a very very warm warm brown I mean, it's pretty, it's just not super intense. Oh, this one's powdery. And I did get fallout from all of them. So, oh yeah, you can tell right there that it's very powdery. But you can see how they transition into one another like perfectly. I mean, it has the perfect tones that you need for something like that. You know, if you want to fade one color into the other. And then I did like the way that the black eyeliner looks with it i haven't done that in a while either so that was good that they came out pretty good you know the eyelashes that i'm using are by kiss and they are called velvet they come in this little pack right here they're called extensions and i really like how they look they just i don't know for some reason they look like they lift my eye up a little bit more next i'm gonna use the elf power grip primer and i can't wait to try this one see if it feels good on my skin um, right now all I have is my face serum, which I applied that earlier, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply this one. Oh, it's pretty thick. Pretty thick. It feels cold. It feels good on my skin. It's gliding around easily, but I can tell that it's sticky. Kind of feels... A little bit like glue like just the thickness of it when you first apply like a layer of it but once I smooth it out it feels pretty good but I can tell right away that it is feeling sticky okay so now that it's sticky I don't feel like I can move it around anymore okay so it's kind of dry now it's still a little sticky but not as much as it was a while ago but I'm gonna move on to the concealer yeah i think i'm gonna put the concealer on first and then i'll do the blush so this one is the elf hydrating camel concealer they do have a regular one but i of course wanted to try the hydrating one this one says that it has a satin finish and i have it in the color fair warm it looks pretty light though but we'll see i'm gonna apply it only a little bit see how much coverage it gives me it does look very very light it doesn't look warm at all so let me blend this out with my beauty sponge for sure, you don't need a lot of product because I barely applied any in. Oh, it gives me a really good coverage. It doesn't feel too thick either. I thought it was. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I would say it has more of a medium coverage. It does say that it is a high coverage, hydrating, and long-wearing concealer. 
I mean, maybe it's a full coverage, but I feel like it's more of a medium. I'm just gonna apply a tiny bit more right here where it's more purple. And maybe once I apply my correcting concealer underneath, I'll see a better coverage with it, but I didn't wanna apply, I didn't wanna apply it today. So I would probably get this in a different shade, maybe just a little bit darker, because it's a little light, Oy, but it is nice. Like it feels good. Do a little bit right here. Oh, and a little bit on my chin. But yeah, you see how good that blends out? It does do a good job with that part. And I don't feel like it's this thick, thick concealer on my face or anything. Okay, so I think I'm going to apply the blush next because it is a cream blush. And then I'm going to apply the foundation on top. If it covers it up, then I'll just have to apply more blush on top of it. And I can tell that the concealer does have a satin finish. It doesn't look matte underneath my eyes or anything. So this one is the LA Girl Soft Matte Cream Blush. And I got this one in the color Blissful. I thought it was a really pretty shade. Oh yeah, that's like a pretty burnt orangey shade. And I think I'm just going to apply it with my finger first. A little bit. You only need a tiny bit because this was a lot. And for sure, I don't need that much. Let me use a brush first and see how it blends out. Oh, it's just leaving kind of like a dot. It is intense, but it is blending out. Oh my gosh, this is <laughs> super bright. It looks like my eyeshadow. Okay, let me use my beauty blender instead. Oh, yeah, super intense. I'm like panicking, like, oh, let me hurry up and blend this out before it stays stuck right there. Yeah, it's kind of not wanting to blend out, so I probably shouldn't apply it and let it sit there. Or maybe on top of foundation, it would be different. Let me use a brush. Okay, never mind. With the brush, it's much better to blend out first. And then I guess if you want to pick up more product, it's better with the beauty sponge. But yeah, it's a pretty shade. I was looking a little crazy first, like a clown, but now it looks pretty good. And then plus I know it looks a little weird because I'm not even wearing foundation. So it's just a bright under eye concealer and then this blush, like it looks a little crazy. And then I think I'm also going to apply this a little bit on my nose. And it's going to get covered up with foundation anyway a little bit. Next up is the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation, and I got this one in the color Light 210N. And this is how this one looks. Does it have a... Yeah, it has this nice soft sponge under there, which I am going to use it right now. And it does look like it's going to be a pretty good match. So, let's try this. And let me read. Let me read. I never read. I always forget. Uh... Camouflage imperfections and even out skin tone with this primer infused talc free foundation. The lightweight powder is finely milled to provide long lasting and buildable coverage for an airbrush finish. And then the directions uh, use included sponge to build coverage for an airbrush finish. Reapply as needed. Okay, so let's go ahead and try it. Let me grab a little bit. Well, maybe that was a lot, but I'm gonna just apply it like this. Oh. Okay, I'm not sure if it's my match. It's a little dark. I was like, wait. But yeah, it is a little dark for me. And it's light to 10 neutral. So I really thought it was going to be a little lighter. Hmm. It looks a little orangey. But that's just the shade of it. Um, It looks, I don't know. Looks a little dry on my skin. Look right here, it's just getting like this weird patch. Let me try just kind of patting it on. I think it's gonna cover up my blush. And I'm not gonna get too close to the concealer because I can tell right away that it is a lot darker than my concealer. Yeah, let me try patting it because swiping it, I don't know. I feel like it looks so patchy, you see these little lines there that's a little weird it could be the primer but i think it's the swiping let me try it with a brush instead because i'm not liking how this is looking on my face i'm just gonna try it with this brush right here 
I feel like it picks up a lot less product. Yes, with the brush, it's probably gonna be better because the sponge, maybe, it's just like to build up the coverage because I just don't like how it's applying, but that looks much better. Much, much better on this side. So, oh yeah, much better with the brush for sure. More of a natural coverage with the brush. Like I can see it, but it's not so much like down here. And I think I am for sure gonna need to try another color that's a lot lighter than this at least. Maybe two shades lighter than this one. And I'm gonna try to blend out this part right here that was just looking a little too patchy. Okay, so I'm bringing it down to my neck. It does look a little orangey on me because it's too dark, but it does look much, much better with the brush. Okay, so I said I wasn't gonna apply too much on underneath my eyes, but I did apply just a little bit. I'm gonna add a little more because I do feel like the under eyes look a little too light for the foundation. So just to kind of help, you know, um, darken it up a little bit. And I think it's looking much better like that because with that concealer, it just looks so bright. Yeah, that looks much, much better. Let me know what you think from now and the first swipe I did with the sponge. Like I can tell, I can, I can see a huge difference. I thought I was gonna be, I don't know, disappointed right now <laughs> with my face makeup. And what I'm noticing is that you have to be kind of gentle, not gentle, but like, you know, just grab just a little bit and then swipe it on. Not so much just putting it on your face. And I just felt like with this, it's just so much coverage. You can even see it on here. It even looks very, very intense. It does look very soft and smoothing on my face. So I do like that. So next I'm gonna apply my bronzer and I do have a powder bronzer. This one is the Ulta Beauty Faux Glow Bronzer. It's brand new and this one I have it in the color Light Medium. And I don't even think I need a blush on top of this. It looks pretty good underneath it since it was an intense blush. So this is the bronzer right here. You can tell this one's not orangey at all. It's a very neutral tone. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of this because I don't know how intense it is. And apply it. It's not super warm or too dark or anything. It's just like the perfect bronzer shade for me. And it's not showing up that much, but you can still see it, you know? It's not like an intense bronzer. I'm noticing that even though I did set my under eyes, you can see the glow underneath because the concealer is a satin finish. I feel like I can still see that, which it doesn't look bad. It just makes my skin look a little bit more natural, like a natural finish to it, more glowy. So that looks pretty good. It blends out really easily. And like I said, the color is not super intense, so it was easy to build up. And it's not like showing up a bunch, a bunch. It's not super glowy, super orangey, super bronzy. It's just enough to give me that bronzy shadowy effect at the same time because it's not a warm bronzer it's a very neutral tone i think it's really good for my skin tone and i think once i have my correct foundation shade underneath it's gonna look even better so i can't wait to try this one again because it is blending out really easily it's like an easy product to work with so to finish off the eyes i'm gonna do my waterline i'm gonna use this urban decay 24 7 glide on pencil in the color torch i'm gonna use the medium orange right here because that one kind of got covered up on top, so I want to show it off on the bottom. And then I'm going to take the darkest color in here and just apply that closer to the waterline. And then I'm going to apply some mascara, which is the Benefit Their Real Magnet Mascara. I don't have a new highlighter, but I'm going to use this one by Juvia's Place. This one is in the color Volume 3, and I haven't used this one in a while, so I just wanted to use it today. And then for lips, I'm going to use the Milani Understatement Lip Liner. And this one is in the color 160. It's the one of the understatement lip liners, which are really easy to use. And it's a really, really pretty nude. The next lip lingerie XXL in the color Turn On. And then I'm going to do a little bit of highlighting on the center of the lips. And I'm going to use the Melted Matte Lipstick by Too Faced. This one's in the color Child Star. And I just apply this one right here. And I like to blend it out with my finger. Okay, 
so the day got really dark it looks really dark in here now but hopefully you can still see everything on my face i mean it all looks pretty good i thought i wasn't going to be happy with the foundation at all as soon as i applied it i was like what the heck because this has been getting very good reviews but now i see how you can make it work and i don't think it's with the sponge i think the perfect way to apply this foundation is with the brush and i wouldn't even think a big fluffy brush would work because i don't think i'll get the same coverage or much coverage but i don't know you let me know how you've used this foundation if you have used it how you use it what you prefer using it with because for me it was better with this small brush and just applying it i mean i don't know if you noticed or if it showed up on camera but whenever i use it with a sponge and just applied it i felt like it looked so patchy and i was getting like this weird spot right here but now now that looks blended out like i did apply it again with the brush just kind of go over it and help blend that out and that helped a lot and then just applying it underneath my eyes and everywhere else it looks so much better with the brush up here everything looks like it got a nice coverage but it's not a matte finish or anything that looks too powdery it looks very shiny like glowy not shiny but glowy natural looking you know i feel like it could be a nice foundation for just an everyday type of foundation or i mean it really doesn't matter it's just a, it gives you a really nice coverage regardless i do feel like it makes my skin look pretty smooth like just blurred out smoothed out i'm not sure but i do feel like it looks really pretty right now i'm getting that highlighted look from the concealer for sure i do like how it looks underneath the foundation though because the foundation was a little bit darker so covering it up like setting the concealer with the foundation was a better idea because it kind of lightened it a little bit but i still have that highlighted effect so i like the way that that looks even though i do feel like this is just a little bit too light for me i do like it underneath this foundation in particular because it goes underneath a powder foundation and um, if I put it with a translucent powder, maybe it'll look too light, but because the foundation was a little darker, it just helped make it look a little better. So that looks nice. I do really like it. And I also like the finish of it. It's not a complete matte finish. And I feel like I can still see it through the foundation, you know, underneath this foundation. The primer, I didn't notice anything super special about it. It doesn't do any blurring. It doesn't mattify your skin. It just probably just helps with gripping your makeup <laughs> it is called just a power grip primer so i'll have to see you while wearing this makeup look today but i also have to try it out with other foundations and see how it works out but it does feel fresh on my skin like it doesn't do anything super special but it's there's nothing wrong with it either it feels cooling and everything so i did like it just because of that and then and then i was also thinking of getting like the full size milk makeup because i do have the milk makeup like a little trial size and it feels pretty similar to that so i was thinking of getting maybe this one in full size but i already have this one so it kind of feels pretty much the same and if you read the directions that would be better i didn't read it but it does say to apply evenly to the face before makeup using your fingertips to pat into skin so i did end up patting it onto my skin um, and i could feel how sticky it was and then it says the warmth of your fingers will help the product melt onto the skin for even application which it did and i did use my finger so it was perfect and then allow 30 seconds to set before applying makeup which i also did do so anyways like i said i feel like it's pretty much the same thing like as in applying it and the way that it feels and the way it, what it does because this one also doesn't smooth out pores or anything like that but i feel like they kind of do the same thing of course like i said i have to try this one out and see how well it holds on to my makeup but so far i really like it and like i said it's really fresh on my face and then as far as the eyeshadows i do really like them not so much that i mean it, there's there was nothing wrong with the shimmer shade but it just doesn't show up as glowy as i would like it to but it does look really pretty hopefully you can see that i'm trying to close my eyes so you can see but it does look really pretty like it's shimmery but it's not an intense shimmer and then they blend out so good together and since you know you get a light orange dark orange a very warm warm brown they just blend in together and transition into one another really good and it's just a nice cute little palette so if you're looking for some color but you don't want a full size palette full of a bunch of different colors this is a really cute you know small little palette that you could try out if you want to try some orange and the eyeshadows themselves they just blend nicely they they were easy to like 
apply you can see the color no issues with that last time i was wearing a purple look using some color pop eyeshadows too and the purple is just show up it was a pastel little palette and they show up so good so i just feel like color pop really does have that formula that just shows up really good and then the blush is also really nice i love the color of it i don't feel like it's easy to blend with the beauty blender at all maybe with your fingers but for sure with the brush it was a lot better to blend out and then if you want to pick up some product because it is very pigmented very intense you can uh, lighten it up a little bit with the beauty sponge but so far i love the color even though it's underneath the foundation i can still see it and it looks really pretty so so far i really like this one this one's i would get it in different colors just to try them out but like i said this one is blissful and i just thought it was a pretty warm like burnt orange shade to use and then also the bronzer it's a really pretty shade for me it's a neutral color so it's not too warm and i feel like it's buildable so you can see it but it's not like overpowering my entire face you know i feel like my entire face today just looks very glowy and has that natural finish with all the products that i put on top it just doesn't look super matte i'm gonna swatch it on this hand because this one got a little bit of orange there but to me it's a light shade it says light to medium but to me it's more of a light shade see it's almost like my skin tone color so those were all the products I had to share with you today. I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions video using a bunch of drugstore makeup. And of course, I also love to know if you've tried any of these products. Let me know what you think of the e.l.f. foundation. If you did try it, how do you use it? Because I want to know how people with different skin types might apply this what worked better for you mine of course like i said is with the brush but yes you guys that is everything that is everything i had for today's video if you're not subscribed already i hope you do so that we don't miss out on future ones and also like i said i am going to have two new products that are still coming in it's the say beauty air say air set radiant loose powder and also the milk makeup liquid bronzer so as soon as i get those products i'll also have that video up for you and that's pretty much it thank you so much for being here thank you for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye